All right, this is Honors Algebra 2 and Precalculus. We are doing 5.4 in Precalc, which is sum and difference formulae. So now it's time for some fun. Uh, let's use the formulae with some variables in, uh, instead of numbers. Uh, game on, man, it's gonna be fun. Uh, so we're gonna use the given value of a trig function uh, for an angle. Uh, we'll use this to draw a triangle in standard position and we're gonna use our triangle to find the other trig values uh, at, that we need, right? We're gonna end up doing this for two angles because there's gonna be an angle U and an angle V. Uh, and then we're going to use that information and the sum and difference formula that we need to put the stuff together. It sounds like a lot, but it, it's really not as bad uh, as it sounds, and it's kind of fun. All right, so example six, we're going to find the exact value of this ex uh, the given expression cosine of u plus v given the information that we have. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, so we're told that angles u and v are in the same quadrant, right? So sine is negative, right? So, so we're told that they're in the same quadrant, and the sine uh, of u is negative, which means that u has to be either here or here, because sine is the y value, right? And we're told that the tangent of v uh, is positive. Well, tangents are positive either in quadrant one or quadrant three. So what that means, right, it has to mean that these two angles are both in quadrant three. So once I know they're in quadrant three, I'm going to draw both of these and, and make a triangle. So let's start with u. So let's start with the triangle for u. Okay, I'm in quadrant three, right? And I know that the, uh, the angle is always between the terminal side and the x-axis. I know that the opposite side is a negative three and the hypotenuse is a five, right? Because sine would be opposite over hypotenuse and the hypotenuse can't be negative. This is a three, four, five triangle. I can either find that using Pythagorean theorem or I can recognize that I have a leg that's three and a hypotenuse that's five. So it has to be leg, leg, hypotenuse, that, that leg is a four. Uh, it is a negative four because I'm in quadrant three where both sine, uh, both the x and the y are, are negative, right? If I do the same thing for triangle V, right? If I draw a triangle for V, I also know that V is in quadrant three. And again, it doesn't have to be drawn to scale, it's fine. So here's my angle V, right? Um, I know that tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. So my opposite is a negative seven because again, I'm in quadrant three and my adjacent is a negative 24, and that's a 7, 24, 25 right triangle. That's another Pythagorean triple. Um, it is worth knowing the Pythagorean triples, right? Leg, leg, hypotenuse, right? 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, uh, 7, 24, 25, 8, 15, 17, 9, 40, and 41. And there are others, but these are pretty much all the ones that you're going to need, right? If you know those, you're pretty much set. And any multiple of those is also a Pythagorean triple, like 6, 8, 10 would be a Pythagorean triple because it's double of the 3, 4, 5. Once I have this, so I have my two triangles, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the formula for cosine of u plus v. Well, it's cos, cos, sine, sine, change the sign. Well, I can find all of this stuff. I can find the cosine of u using my red triangle. The cosine of u should be the adjacent, which is a negative four, over the hypotenuse, which is a five. In fact, I'm gonna do sine of u while I'm here. I actually was already given sine of u. It's a negative three fifths, right? Because that was actually given right here. And then in purple, cosine of v is gonna be the adjacent, which is the negative 24 uh, over the hypotenuse, 25, right? Uh, and then the sine of v is going to be the negative 7 over that 25. And then I'm just keeping that minus sign that's sitting in the middle, right? Um, so I'm going to get 4 times 24, which I'm pretty sure is a 96. So this is 96 over a buck 25. Sorry, my computer's a little laggy today. Uh, minus, and this would be minus a positive 21, so 21 over a buck 25 because the 5 times the 25. Uh, so that should be a 75 over a 125, which is a totally acceptable answer, but you could also uh, cancel out uh, a 25 if you want, because they both have 25 as a factor, uh, and I would get 3 fifths. And that's my answer. All right, let's do another one. Okay, so now, again, we're given two angles in the same quadrant, right? We see that the sine is positive, right? So, so this quadrant that we're looking at, sine of u is positive, so sine of u is positive, which means that u has to be in one of these two quadrants, right? But cosine of v is negative, which means v has to be in one of these two quadrants. So the winning quadrant has to be quadrant two. So this has to be quadrant two. Once I know that, I can draw a triangle for both situations. So my triangle for u in quadrant two 
right? U is the angle between the terminal side and the x-axis. This is my opposite. This is my hypotenuse, right? So the opposite side is a 12. The hypotenuse is a 13. That's a 5, 12, 13 triangle. And because I'm in quadrant 2, the 5 is going to be negative because that's an x-coordinate. When I do the same thing for my uh, triangle for V, right, it is also in quadrant 2. Again, does not have to be drawn to scale. I know that this is my adjacent over the hypotenuse. I know the hypotenuse is never the negative, so my adjacent is negative 8, my hypotenuse is 17. That's an 8, 15, 17, right? Once I know that, and again, those are both, uh, if you go back, those are both in the list of Pythagorean triples that I just gave, right? So uh, I use this formula, right? I use uh, sine, cos, cos, sine, chain, uh, keep the sine, rather, right? So, uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and use my U triangle to find sine of U. Well, sine of U was actually given. It's a 12 over 13. Cosine of U should be the negative 5 over 13, right? Uh, sine of, uh, cosine of V is actually given. It's a negative 8 over 17. And then sine of V is that 15 over 17. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and, uh, oh, that's a negative, my bad keep that minus sign. All right, so, uh, and then I'm just going to clean this up. And again, you don't have to, um, nobody's saying that you have to do the number crunching in your head if you don't want, right? If you want to do uh, the 12 times the negative 8, uh, I'm pretty sure that should come out to be a negative 96. Actually, let's go back and double check my math here. Yep, okay. So, um, negative 96, right? And then this is going to be minus a negative 75. And then I don't know what 13 times 17 is in my head, so I'm definitely going to cave and just do 13 times 17. Those are both prime numbers. They're not nice, happy, fun things to multiply, so I'm going to go ahead and call this a 221. Uh, so I end up with a negative 96 plus a 75 over a 221. So I get that this is a negative 21 over a 221. And even though they look alike, they don't actually simplify in any way, right? Um, so that's it, right? Okay, so that's kind of the gist of how that's going to work, right? And and uh, just to go back here for a sec, if your brain was like not at all handling, uh, for instance, what four times twenty four was, like I did that one, but if you if your brain wasn't handling it, you could definitely do that. Uh, so again, you could do ninety six minus the twenty one if you want, and then you'd get your seventy five and so on. All right, so. Uh, let's go ahead and do one more uh, example and one more practice problem, right? So. This is a little bit tricky. We're going to write this as an algebraic expression with no trig. We're assuming all of the angles given are in quadrant 1. So I'm going to go ahead and call this thing u and this thing v, meaning that u is the arctan of 2x or tangent of u is a 2x over 1. And let's do v in a different color. So v is this thing. And v is the arc cosine of x or the cosine of v is x over 1. So I'm going to need to draw both of those triangles. And I was told to draw both of them as though they were in quadrant 1. So what that means is that if we draw both of these triangles. I'm going to draw the blue one first, right? So tangent is opposite over adjacent. So the opposite side is 2x. The adjacent is a 1. Using Pythagorean theorem, this would be 2x quantity squared, which is 4x squared, plus a 1 squared, and then I square root it. If I do the same thing here, right, I draw my, my v in quadrant 1. This is my adjacent. This is my hypotenuse. So I have an x and a 1. That means that this missing side right here is going to be the square root of 1 squared minus x squared, right, because hypotenuse squared minus leg squared. So once I have those sides, I then need to say, oh, I get it. This is sine of u minus v. So using my sum or difference formula, this is sine cos, cos sine, keep the sine. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my triangles. So I'm going to use my blue triangle to find the sine of u and the cosine of u. And I'm going to use my red triangle to find the cosine of v and the sine of v. And then I'm going to be able to write this as an algebraic expression. So the sine of u is opposite, which is 2x 
over the hypotenuse, which is this root 1 plus 4x squared, or 4x squared plus 1, it doesn't matter, right? Uh, so that's, that's this thing, right? And cosine is going to be a 1 over that hypotenuse. And again, it doesn't matter if you write it as a 4x squared plus 1 or a 1 plus 4x squared. Don't know why I insisted on writing it in two different ways. Cosine of v, right? Cosine of v we actually already know. Cosine of v is an x over 1. And sine of v is going to be this ugly thing over a 1. Right? And then I'm going to keep this sign that's in the middle, which is a minus. So they do actually have the same denominator, but that's about all they have going for them. So this is a 2x squared, because it's 2x times x, right? And then this is minus the ugly square root here, all over this same root. Uh, it doesn't matter if you write it as a 4x squared plus 1 or a 1 plus 4x squared. So that is my algebraic expression. Now, sometimes they simplify nicer than this. This one didn't. That's it. So that's the, this is the, the algebraic expression. Sorry, my computer is laggy. This is algebra with no trig. All right, so you're going to try one more. So again, this angle is going to be u, right? Because the output of an arc trig function is an angle, and this angle is going to be v. And I'm going to go ahead and assume that both pictures are in quadrant 1. So uh, I know that if the arc sign of 3x is u, then that means 3x, or 3x over 1, is the sine of u, right? By the same token, I know that if the arc cosine of x is v, then x over 1 is the cosine of v. So when I draw both of these triangles in quadrant 1, because we're told to assume our angles are in quadrant 1, right, u is going to be opposite over hypotenuse, which means this side is hypotenuse squared minus leg squared, right? The same thing over here, when I do v, I have adjacent over hypotenuse, and then this side is going to be hypotenuse squared minus leg squared. So I take this cosine of u minus v, and I use the formula cos cos sine sine, change the sign. So for u, I'm using the blue triangle. And for v, I'm using the red triangle. So I'll go ahead and do v first because I happen to have this one. So the cosine of v is going to be x over 1, the adjacent over the hypotenuse. The sine is going to be the opposite over the hypotenuse. For u, the cosine is going to be the ugly root, 1 minus uh, 9x squared inside the root over the hypotenuse, which is 1. And the sine is going to be uh, the 3x over the hypotenuse. And then I keep that plus that was already in the middle, right? So it looks like my denominator is a 1 for everybody. So my answer just ends up being an x times this ugly square root plus a 3x times this different ugly square root, and that's it. I can't combine anything. There's nothing else I can do. That's my answer. Sometimes these combine nicely, and sometimes they don't. That is the end of 5.4.